Right guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be um, a video where we're going to go out and hunt on um, Nespace Valley guys with the new scope. I've just purchased the new scope, but I'm going to show you our loadout before we head out guys. It's the, uh, I think it's 3x18, I'm going to try and say Magnificacation, I can't even say it. But yeah, um, I'll show you which one it is that we've got guys. It is the, um, it's the loophole, this one here, the loophole VX 6HD3 by 18 times 44 um, scope this one here guys high lens quality 44 mm lens size and that word there that i can't pronounce 3 by 18 zoom we'll call it zoom it's just easy for to miss the zoom guys and the um, loadout we're taking out with us today is the 300 and the 308 guys and we're just gonna have a little quick walk around um, near space valley and we're gonna go and see what we can find guys so guys what the plan is the plan is for this hunt i'm gonna head out onto this river here and then I'm going to run this full river, this little um, little off stretch of the main river. Like, um, I don't know what you guys would call it. We'd probably call it a beck in England. But this holds really good elk, really good white tail. There's the old fox up and down. But majority of it is mule deer, white tail. Only a few mule deer, but usually white tail and elk, guys. So we're going to run this whole river. I ain't checked this for a long, long, long time. So we're going to make our way up that river there, which is right next to the start route post. It's a really good spot for anyone that's starting on this game. And we're going to go up there and see what we can find, guys. I'm just going to start swinging this way first. I usually get some mule deer down here. I'm not looking like there is any down here this time. But I do usually get a stack of mule deer down by this river here sometimes. But obviously they're not there at the minute, guys. So we'll get ourselves onto that river. And we'll go and see what we can find. As you can see, guys, we're down on this um, river, beck, stream, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, usually I do have a group of elk that um, drink down by this river here. But at the minute it's not looking like they're here. The aim is... There is a hunting stand. I'll show you now, guys. There is a hunting tower here. This hunting tower is such a good tower because I have white tail. Let me see these zones. This white tail zone here is usually packed with white tail, guys. So what I'm going to try and do today, I'm going to follow this road down here, cross over the river, get up into this hunting stand, guys, and just have a look at this white tail herd that usually drinks down here. We're going to, we are going to go further up, guys, and see what we can find right up here. But the aim is just to try and get to that hunting stand. I'll put a mark on it now, guys, so we know where we're going. But the aim is to get to... That's the drink zone there, guys. So we're going to aim towards that drink zone, cross the river at the first bridge that we can, get to the other side, and then we're just going to go and see what's in that white tail zone. Hopefully we come across a few elk on the way down, but I really, really want to test this new scope out. I'll show you guys what it's like now. So this is the new scope that I want to test out. The lens quality is really high. There's a lot of zoom on it as well, as you can see, guys. There's loads and loads and loads of zoom on it. Loads of zoom on it. And even like the little bit of an animation was zooming in and out on the top of the, um, well, around the scope. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. I'm sure you will. Is that what they like in real life, guys? Because as you know, I'm from England myself, so we don't get a lot of hunt. Oh, in fact, we can see something there. Let's just put a mark on them. Let me see what they are. What's the mark next in it? There. We're going to work make our, make our way over to them now, guys, and see what they are. So I can see through there, guys. I'm, I, th I think... So I can see him through there, guys. I think he's the one at the back there. I don't know what this guy is. I'll just get my binoculars back out now and just have a quick look at him. I'm sure he's... If he's a two-star adult, he's a good two-star adult. What are you there? Oh, no, he's there. That's him there, guys. So, once he gives us a shot... What was zeroed in for you? I'm just going to knock zero in up to 200. It's that guy we want. Once he stands up, guys, we'll probably take that shot. There is a big book there with him. I don't know whether just to swing around just make sure he's nothing special. That's definitely the one we want. I could just do with him standing up. And then we can get a real look at him. Two star mature. Right, yeah. It's definitely that one we want there. As soon as he stands up, guys, we're going to take a shot on him. At the minute, he's just bedded down. The scope looks so much cleaner, you know. I could do this guy just giving us a shot. I can't really get any close because the wind is absolutely horrendous. And the problem is if I swing to the right, that tree's going to stop us. They all seem to be going in them bushes. There's a big one there. I can see him there over the bush there. The antlers here. There we go. He's up. He's up. Do I take that front on shot there? It felt good. Try putting a follow-up shot in. I don't know if we got it. 
Right, we're gonna have a look to what that to what that were, guys. What blood's that? Looks like good blood. Medium amount air bubbles, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Now it's just the the um oh tracking them in. We can see him. We can see the blood guys. So I struggle with tracking the blood sometimes, so I've just got to take my time here, guys, nice and slowly. Make sure I stay on this track. Oh he's here. He's not gone far at all. In fact, he went a bit further than I expected. I didn't think he would go far at all because with that 308, usually. Oh, what's these? We've got some elk here as well. Before we take that shot. Oh, we've got an elk there. Mature female. If we can, we're going to get a shot on that guy there. Mature one, that's perfect. I'll see if I can get him through that tree. I know I said I don't like doing this, but. I think that's the one there, guys. That's two for one, really. That's a nice, nice little uh, surprise, really. I'm glad that we found him. So we'll pick. This is the first one. This should be the two star mature. As you can see there, what did we get there? Left lung. So in fact, it took him down very quickly to say that was just a single lung. Left lung intestine, which is nice. Nice shot. Overview. Two star mature. Forty-five percent. Lovely. That's the kind of animal you want to be taking down that, guys. And what was his trophy? 301, yeah. So a nice one to take down. Sell him 313. If anything, guys, it's just a bit extra cash for us. And then we'll go and check what this elk is, guys. And over to where we shot this elk. As you can see, shooting him near the water is not the best idea because you can't really see the blood, I don't think. Oh, no. My mistake, you can. But if it's in deep water or deeper water, you're not going to be able to see it. As you can see, medium amount again, air bubbles, which are a good shot. I'm, I'm imagining it's going to be a single lung, this. So it's going to be left lung, maybe. Surprise if it's double long. So we'll just track this guy very nice, like nice and steady. Like we did that mule deer, so I'm not missing out on any blood. Track the blood, follow the blood. This will probably go a little bit further than what the mule deer did, but I'm not expecting it to go miles, miles further. In fact, he's there down on the floor already, guys. He's only gone, I'd say, 80 meters, guys. So he's only he's only ran 80 meters from where we took that shot, which is perfect for us, really. And it switches over to the side of the river we need to be at to go and have a look at them white tails. So we'll get ourselves up here, pick this elk up, and then get over to that um, hunting tower, if possible, and go and check what white tail we've got in that zone, if the white tail are in that zone, guys. As you see, the hunting tower's there, which is fairly perfect for us, to be honest. So this should be the one-star mature, is it, or two-star mature? Lovely elk still. The frame on the elk and the models of the elk are unbelievable, guys. I have actually got a five-star elk already. Yes, it's what I thought. Left lung, single lung. So a single lung shot from that 300 at 186 meters takes them down very, very quickly. So we've got a mature, one star mature, 68%. Perfect, perfect, guys, to take out of that. Um, heard that. 599 we get to sell him for, and he scores 266 on the nose. So we can sell him for nearly 600 coins, and then we can move on to the white deal. So already we've nearly made. A thousand coins there just within two our harvest guys and we've only been hunting for a few minutes not like we've been hunting for ages guys as you can see guys we've had no luck down in diamond drill at all whatsoever so i were hunting down in diamond drill guys down there i've had no luck so i've decided to come up to this top left outpost here which is really good for mountain goat elk and um big horn sheep and as you can see guys i've just literally looked across the water there and look what we've spotted there guys a five star big horn sheep now i'm going to take him i've literally just shot a mountain goat guys so i'm going to sit and take this guy from here and i'm going to get over there and have a good look at him it'll be perfect from there he should not be going far at all no it's not him he's there is that him Imagine that's him, we'll just keep a watch of him. I can't imagine he goes far at all, guys. The shot felt good. And he's down just there, guys, which is beautiful. Now, let's get over there again. There we go. I need to look away from him, don't I? Maybe this angle here. I didn't know that they, there was a ring on him. Lovely beast. Beautiful monster, guys. So, we'll take that one. I'll probably take one like here. Right, guys, then we're going to pick this guy up and see what he actually scores. So he did get, he did take a step forward, but we did manage to get a flesh, left lung, right lung, liver shot, which isn't too bad at 246 meters, guys. 
the overview 99% genetics guys so I'm going to say this is a monster guys like a monster monster you can count the rings can't you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 I don't know what the rings are these are the rings guys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 maybe I'm not too sure if you can but I did watch Flinter's video and he said you could count the rings guys so we'll see what this guy's scored nice 497 oh my god that is by far my biggest the max to get to is 500 guys that is an absolute monster and monster by far my biggest guys like by far by far take a screenshot of that where did we end up getting it see it did take a step forward guys but it still did still manage to yeah nice shot it's just gone through the back of the lungs which i'm not too concerned about i did aim a little bit further forward but like i said it did step backwards guys so we're definitely going to, going to taxidize that fella get him back to the lodge guys and then um we'll go and see if we can take a look at it in the lodge right guys so we are back in the lodge i did have enough i didn't know if i had enough to taxidize this fella but we do have enough to taxidize this fella and just look at the size of him we get a better picture if we go into my camera mode you can see him a little bit better guys but just look at the size of this fella we've got here Look at the mass on the top of there. This guy has got so much mass. Unbelievable how big this guy is. Huge, 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 big, 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 big horn. Big, 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 big horn. <laughs> but yeah, definitely guys. So don't forget, if you do enjoy um, Call of the Wild Way, the Hunter content, definitely drop a sub on the channel, guys. Like the video if you like the video, guys. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Or I'll catch you in the next stream. Enjoy the rest of your day.